Hello everyone, um, we're back, well I'm back, <laughs> um, so if you're wondering why I don't have this music up, well, let me just turn it down a little more, I'm pretty sure this music right here is actually copyright, um, and I'll say my mic, or the uh, sound of the videos has actually been kind of scrambly, so I'm trying to turn down the volume a little bit, so today we're doing a mod review. But don't worry, I still will continue the 1944 France, so don't worry about that. So yeah, I just want to do a review on European War 4. <clears throat> um, the World War 1 mod is actually a very, very old mod. So yeah, campaigns, I'm not going to go over them. We're just going to go straight into the Conquest. So, obviously, we got Europe 1911. So, let's just go ahead and start off with Germany. So, yeah, as you can see, pretty cool. Um, I really love this mod. But, um, as you can see, we got, like, Greece. We got Italy. This dude looks like a zombie. I'm far away. So we got Italy. As you can see, the mod is like blimps and armored cars and stuff. So yeah. Um. So this is 1911. Um. We got the uh, Maginot Line. Except Germany actually has their own Maginot Line. We got Ludendorff on the where you call it Big Bertha. We got like Denmark, Sweden, we got all sorts of crap. We also got tanks, but I don't think they're in this conquest because it's way too early in the time periods for there to be a work hunt. Got like Spain, Portugal. So yeah, this is the uh, <coughs> 1911 conquest. So moving on to um, Europe 1914. Obviously, again, we're going to play as Germany. I did forget about the Shing Empire in the last one, but yeah. So as you can see, we got Russia. So yeah, as you can see, there's not much different. Except Italy is in Africa now, I think. And also that France also has all this down here. Um, France, I mean Spain, has joined the Central Powers now. Uh, Switzerland is in it now. But yeah. So that's 1914. Moving on to Europe, 1915. Obviously we're going to play as Germany again. So yeah. We got like armored trains now that can move. So yeah, we got like Switzerland is much bigger this time. Uh, I can't remember about that. We own some more land right here from Denmark. All right. Um. France lands, all that. Italy ends a little bit more land in Africa. Britain has landed in Oricon. Oh, um, Turkey. So, yeah, I think that's all for this one. Moving on to Europe, 1916. Obviously, we're going to play as Germany. Alright, um... Looks like they took back over the British that were there in Africa. Uh, Yugoslavia is no longer in it. Uh, Turkey is now in Bulgaria. Um, the Maginot line is no longer here. Now we just got a big fat line of infantry ready to go at it. 
It's actually pretty even. Russia is going to kill us because, yeah. France still looks the same. Alright. So there's not too much in this mod, but it would be very good to do some conquests. And now moving on to Europe 1916. Obviously, Germany. If you're wondering, shout out to uh, BG, BJ Blaskovic. Um, his channel is no longer called BJ Blaskovic, so you won't find it. But he does have about 13,000 subscribers. And he is a mod maker. Um, and he is probably just the best mod maker that actually made a mod for this. He is actually um, a Russian, so... Yeah, um, he does know a little bit of English, but not too much. But yeah, same thing's going on here, and I already call it. Ooh! Belgium has been pushed all the way back. If you're wondering, I will leave his channel link um, in the comments or the description, so you'll find it there. Um, I can't remember if actually that was Finland or not. Oh, Spain is now in what's going to happen. Alright. Moving on to Europe 1917. And this is where crap gets interesting, guys. So now the U.S. is in this. Belgium has been annexed by Britain. We're caught is on, on our side. Oh, and as you can see, we got the uh, Russian Revolution. Uh, as you can see, Lenin has taken over Petrograd, which is Leningrad. Um, but yeah. So yeah, the, the war has started between them. As you can see, they're now neutral. But there's some nations that are green. So this is like a three-way, like, war. So yeah. Oh man, it is at a big disadvantage for Germany. But yeah. They've actually been kind of thinned out in Germany is actually here now. Nowhere know where that came from. Alright. So yeah, that's that for that one. And then guys, that's Europe 1918. This is already happening. And this is probably gonna be the best conquest so far. Obviously, the U.S. and uh, Belgium is now back in it. But as you can see, they've pushed Germany back. Yeah, they have destroyed. Oh, we got Luxembourg. And as you can see, we got their princess. We got Czechoslovakia. Poland's back. Romania is. Yugoslavia is back. Oh, an LTR. Belgium. Oh my goodness, we got France, Italy, and Britain. Also, and we got the good Turkey. Instead, we got. I'm not sure. This is like what a Turkish Civil War, or something. As you can see, Russia has been kicked out by communist one. There's, there's um, Stalin. And then there's Lenin, as you can see, France is here now, we got Estonia, and then there's Finland, uh, whatever you call it, Latvia, um, don't, I can't, I don't, I'm not sure what they are, Ukraine, and then there's BJ Blaskovic's great uncle, Boyka, Germany is now starting to get on its last legs, Hungary is very thin, Uh, we got the, nice, we got the Irish, shout out to the Irish, baby. Well, boom, we got Morocco. Greece is there. Uh, we got, what do you call it now? Alright guys, so that looks like it's it for this mod. I will finish up the Wii Conquest, and then I will start on this game. So yeah, you'll be expecting this next, guys. So guys, 
Peace out, Air Sands. Out. Bye, guys.